OpenSUSE is a project I enjoy watching from a distance, and nowadays, they have, let's just say, quite a few options available. You have their main poster child, OpenSUSE Leap, which was previously just OpenSUSE. This is your sort of standard annual release distro. You also have OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, the rolling release calling itself Leading Edge, but in other parts of their documentation, they call it Bleeding Edge. Whatever. It's a rolling release. They also have MicroOS, an immutable system targeted at a containerized workload. Then you had, focus on had, MicroOS Desktop, which is now going by OpenSUSE Kalpa for the Plasma version and OpenSUSE Aeon for the GNOME version. It's basically the same concept, but around an immutable desktop usage. And then you have OpenSUSE Leap Micro. These are just the things that are on the homepage that are being like directly marketed to users. There are plenty of other things being worked on in the background as well. So, would it be surprising at all if I told you another system was in the works? Another system with, let's just say it has an interesting name. OpenSUSE Slow Roll. This is the actual name. I didn't modify the HTML, I will reload the page for you. There will be a link in the description down below. This is the actual name <laughs> that someone went with for this system. Look, I'm just joking about the name. The name doesn't matter at all. I think this is a really cool idea. For a lot of people out there, OpenSUSE Leap is perfectly fine, but it seems like it's more geared towards the businessy sort of case, like a workstation, a server, a system that you want to be incredibly stable, you want it to be getting security updates, but feature updates aren't necessarily like your main focus here, you just want a system that you know is going to work. And for some people on the desktop, that's going to be fine as well. But for a lot of other people, say you're a gamer and you want to have a fairly up-to-date version of Mesa, for example, or you just generally like to have a more up-to-date version of applications on your system, Leap is just not going to be fast enough to do that. Not in the speed of the system, but in the speed of the update cycle. So a lot of people just doing a cursory search over Reddit and other things like that, a lot of people tend to recommend making use of Tumbleweed. And Slow Roll is intended to be sort of a middle ground between Tumbleweed and Leap, leaning a lot more towards that Tumbleweed side. As it says here, Slow Roll is a new distribution from 2023 based on Tumbleweed, but rolling slower, with updates every one or two months with bug fixes and CV fixes as they come in. So it's sort of like the Manjaro model, where you have like delayed releases, if Manjaro was run well and didn't cause additional problems. Now, when it comes to Tumbleweed, it seems like OpenSUSE has a lot more systems in place to deal with these just general issues of having a rolling release. Sometimes updates will come out and they're just not suitable to ship to users. But from what I generally hear, a lot of the problems that end up happening on Arch at least from my perspective, don't seem to be happening on Tumbleweed. It seems like Tumbleweed somehow, through like their open QA system and all this stuff, manages to do the rolling thing and keep it relatively stable. Now, obviously, it's not going to be perfect and issues will occasionally fall through the cracks, but slow roll then allows you to be sort of that spot where you get most of the benefits of Tumbleweed while dealing with the issues of Tumbleweed before they actually become an issue on your system. There's going to be a couple of weeks to sort of iron out those issues before they make it to your system. And frankly, most people don't need the most up-to-date version of application on the day it comes out. Like, I know it's great in some cases like Mesa and drivers and things like that, but for most of the things in your system, you can probably wait a couple of days and be perfectly fine. Now, especially over the past six months to a year or so, but it has been floating around in the ether a bit since then, there's been rumours and murmurings about OpenSUSE discontinuing Leap. For example, is OpenSUSE Leap really on its deathbed? And what is next for OpenSUSE Leap users since the project is being discontinued? For the record, it's not being discontinued. There is 
no confirmation about that happening. It is nothing but speculation based on rumors, based on more speculation. There is a page on the OpenSUSE website for Leap 16. OpenSUSE Leap is not confirmed to be discontinued, but that doesn't mean they aren't considering maybe like a new direction for it, or possibly, emphasis on possibly, doing something besides Leap. Recently, there was a survey about exactly this, and the results got released a bit over a week ago. Leap replacement results from recent contributor survey. This is a consideration, not a confirmation. This is by Richard Brown, a software architect at SUSE. I've been looking at the results from the recent contributor survey to gauge the interest and feasibility of replacing OpenSUSE Leap with a new community-built offering. There are two options available right now. Linarite, I'm going to say is how you say it, a regular old-fashioned release desktop distribution, likely with a narrower package selection than we're used to with Leap, unless we find significantly more contributors to be able to support everything. Or Slow Roll, a derivative of Tumbleweed, built automatically as much as possible, using automation and metrics to copy packages from Tumbleweed only after certain conditions, max age, x weeks without change, etc. Basically an attempt to make something less scary than full speed tumbleweed. From the survey he got 251 responses, which for some reason he considers a broad enough audience to draw some meaningful conclusions from. I don't think that's what it is at all, but sure, they're your numbers. 101 self-identified as a contributor, 72 identified as a distribution contributor, 61 who committed packages to Leap or backports for the last release, which to me sounds like 251 contributors. I don't know how any of those are different groups, but once again, they are their numbers and that's what we're going with. So first question, between Linarite, Slow Roll, and not replacing Leap, which is the most popular with our contributors? Not replacing Leap was the most popular option when distribution contributors were asked which options they would contribute towards, 39%. Not replacing Leap slash using Tumbleweed was the most popular option when distribution contributors were asked which they would use on their desktop slash laptops, 54%. Those same contributors did collectively suggest that Linarite should be the direction of OpenSUSE, 37%, and what they would use on their servers, 43%. Now, as for the users, slow roll was the most popular option when users were asked which options they contribute towards, 28%. Linarite was third, 19%, after not replacing Leap, 25%. Slow roll was also the number one option when users were asked which option was the best direction for OpenSUSE, 39%, and which they would use on a server, 48%. Just using Tumbleweed was also the most popular option with our users for their desktop slash laptops, 41%, followed by Slow Roll. Linarite was not the number one choice for our users in any of the questions asked. Basically, amongst the users, the idea of a rolling in the form of Tumbleweed or a slower rolling, whatever you want to call it, system like Slow Roll is way more preferred than going down the route of Linarite where it's like, kind of a scuffed version of Leap. So, in light of these results, it is my suggestion to the community that if we are to build something to replace Leap, then the option we should focus on is Slow Roll. Now, suggestion to the community, if we are to build something to replace Leap, I know I don't need to keep saying this, but I probably do. It's not confirmed to be happening. It is just a discussion. Anyway, it is the most popular with our users, and the option more closely aligned to what our contributors use themselves. That said though, I am still concerned that we do not have enough contributors to make any Leap replacement viable. Both options will require some backporting of fixes and other normal distribution maintenance sort of stuff. And apparently, I didn't know this, OpenSUSE doesn't have that many people working on it. Leap has struggled, even with 61 folk contributing directly to the code base and backport slash package hub. And this is when we've had SUSE Linux Enterprise code base to borrow from, which dramatically reduced the work required. Whereas something like Linarite would be maintaining everything directly in the OpenSUSE project 
adding a lot more maintenance burden onto the developers, which if they're already having trouble managing Leap, I don't know if that extra burden is something they could, you know, reasonably deal with. At this stage, it is entirely unclear which direction OpenSUSE is going to be going, but slow roll is a thing that exists, and you can basically go and mess around with it right now. It's still very much in, like, the early stages, so don't expect it to be, you know, as updatey as it probably will be going into the future, but it may end up being the new direction that Leap ends up going in. I have no idea. OpenSUSE, as I said, is not like my main focus. I tend to just watch it from the outside, but it seems like a lot of the time they're doing some pretty cool stuff. So I guess uh, let me know in the comments section down below. Do you make use of Tumbleweed? Do you feel like Tumbleweed is a little bit too quick for you? Would you prefer something a little bit slower, but not as slow as Leap? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, the Liberapay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and tumble away.